going on, everyone? Uh, been fighting a cold, so uh, it's been a while since I put a video up, but I just wanted to show you guys this new product from Zippo. It's called the Zippo Hand Warmer. When I first saw this, I was very intrigued about it. I love the concept. It, it's a reusable hand warmer uh, that runs on Zippo lighter fluid. Now, uh, basically, what this does is use a small burner. Now this burner basically is a sorry I got the hiccups. It's a catalytic converter or I'm sorry a catalytic burner. Uh, what it, Basically it's the same thing in your car. Catalytic converter. Uh, what, it, what that does is um, it works on the concept of vapors being in, in a car unburnt uh, vapors, unburnt uh, fuel will when it goes through the catalytic converter, the, the catalytic converter in a car basically has pl platinum in it, and you can look this up. Um, platinum, the rare metal that we all know um, is used for jewelry. And what it does is it burns at a very low, low temp, low temperature, enough to keep an ember, um, and any type of vapors that run through the converter it will end up being burned by the embers from the catalytic converter and basically all this is is platinum and fiberglass so it's fiberglass impregnated with platinum fibers and the platinum fibers will start to glow once they're once you touch an open, open flame to them they'll glow and then from that heat from the ember it will start to evaporate some of the fluid that's inside of this reservoir and the evaporation of that fluid causes oxygen to be sucked in to the burner and creates a very small low ember and that ember is going to that amber is going to stay hot and radiate heat throughout this whole unit causing more vapors to evaporate it's just a chain reaction this chain reaction, um, and this is a solid brass, um, chrome-plated uh, unit, just like their lighters. Okay, brass inside, chrome-plated. So it's warranty by Zippo. The burners aren't; they're good for about they claim 70 to 80 usages. And I'm, I'm guessing that's 70 if you're burning 24 out, 12 hours, or uh, 80 if you're just using the six hour burn uh, time so what I mean by that is you can fill this fill cup up to the halfway mark it's going to give you six hours continuous burn time or the full mark is going to give you 12 hours I tested it I filled it up yesterday I recommend if you first get this to fill it up to the 12 hour so that the f uh, fluid can seep into the very bottom of this and uh, soak up all the resin balls inside <coughs> sorry again I got the hiccups this is like the third time I filmed this video so you're gonna have to bear with me um, I recommend you only use Zippo fluid because again this is this is a low ember um, and you don't want any uh, bad fumes when this burns with Zippo fluid you hardly have any fumes at all also I recommend don't overfilling this or not fill overfilling this because if you if you do you could get a drip and if you get a drip, that could catch fire, and this will become a lighter in the quickness of it. So don't overfill it. Use the fill cup, um, and let's see if we can light it. And I'll show you. I already filled it. Again, here's the burner with the platinum and fiberglass fibers. Okay, that just goes on the top like so. Take your lighter. In this case, I'm using my trusty uh, vintage Indian Jones. Zippo and keep the blue part of the flame closest to the burner just give it a few seconds on each side flip it and light it and make sure it's I like to do this just to make sure that it's really lit because there is no way to tell if it's really lit without uh, touching it and feeling if it's warm you, you need to get this hot in order for the vapors to start evaporating and 
continually burn that ember. That's about it. If you can see here, you can see that, I don't know if you can catch that. You do have ignition, and I don't know if you can see that ember. It's starting to get hot, very hot in my hand. It's a very low glow. And though, <coughs> believe it or not, the fiberglass and um, platinum fibers burn the best with low oxygen. So, if you introduce a lot of oxygen to this, it's, it's almost going to go out, especially if you blow on it. Um, the ember will start to uh, dimmer down. So, it works. You can see I stopped blowing on it, it's starting to really glow out. It does need some oxygen, but it likes a low oxygen temperature to burn. Again, you can see it inside there. It's a very, very low glow, but it is lit, and that's it. And that's all you do. And then what you want to do is put your top on. It secures on nicely, and this whole unit will radiate heat from that ember. And this is a great way, if you're a backpacker, um, to not only stay warm but transfer an ember from a fire in other words if you need to leave or you, you're just on a day hike and you're stopping at one spot and you make a fire put the fire out you can keep, throw this in your pocket you know keep keep yourself warm and then if you need to start a fire take this out and put a little tinder there and it's going to light up it's going to light on fire and um, start a fire so they recommend you keep this in the pouch again to control the oxygen consumption of the device to keep that ember very low um, so that you don't have a chance of catching uh, anything on fire and it's very safe I've been using it now for uh, a day or two and um, especially today we just got a ton of snow dumped on us I know um, our uh, <coughs> DC Washington Maryland area got hit really bad as well as um, Pennsylvania got hit really bad. I saw a couple of tractor trailers flipped over on the news. Um, in my area, we, we, we got a little bit of snow, but nothing crazy. Uh, but it is very cold, very windy. So before I go to work, I throw this in my uh, bag or I throw this in my pocket or my jacket pocket, my chest pocket. I keep that in there. This keeps the whole interior of my jacket nice and warm. If I need to warm up my hands, I'll actually take it out of the unit because it's much harder in the hand by itself, bare metal on skin warm my hands up and uh, throw it back in the pouch, throw it back in the pocket. And again, 12 hours. This is one of the, one of these things that, you know, you don't think it's going to last 12 hours. I, I lit this yesterday and it just went out. I'm filming this video at around 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Um, it burned all, all morning, all night, all morning. Um, with no problem. So definitely check it out, guys. It's worth its weight. Um, for 20 bucks, you can't beat it from Zippo. Thank you guys very much. Stay safe.